it is said that we must respond like an echo and adapt like a shadow. This ability to adapt, to have a solid plan and be prepared to pivot and adjust comes from being on the mats with all the incredible training partners who will give you various energies. So, we see getting tapped out is just as important as going for the tap, attempting with every fiber in your being to seize the leopard and make him tap. As the opponent escapes one submission attempt, you throw up another and another until ultimately you secure position and they tap. When your opponent taps, there is a new danger that arises. You have had a small success. The small success can go to your head. There is a danger of becoming arrogant. However, the arrogance comes from those who are not on the mats. If you stay on the mats enough, you will also get tapped out or realize there is still more to learn. So, the important thing is balance. If you are in a state of continually getting submitted and having no moments of small success, it is easy to become demoralized. It is that balance of submitting and getting submitted that keeps the ego in its right place. We learn that what works for one person may not work for another, and what you envisioned working so perfectly may not have been the best attack of choice. So we learn not to always see in absolutes, but to see as a good farmer does, to give the crop space, just like humor gives the mind space. We learn not to be so one-dimensional, but to diversify attack and defense. So in essence, you are learning to flow and crash one, to be silent yet loud, to be swift and slow, to light and dark. You are becoming the embodied living principle of yin and yang. The martial artist who does not tap is lacking. Here, the tap means literally tap. This should not be taken as a metaphor. You need to feel your limbs being taken to the breaking point. You need to feel your arteries losing circulation due to a vice grip choke. It is there where you will learn to keep your feet on the ground and be humble. Remember, the writings in this book will free you of yearning, grasping and attaching. The ego will also be set straight. However, you cannot pick and choose if you have strength and progress in one area, then move to another. We cannot forget the most crucial aspect that comes along with getting tapped out. That is, it directs us towards the master. It leads us back to Shoshin, the beginner's mind. It keeps us in a constant state of evolving, not revolving. We must again sit at the master's feet. Stop, look, listen, and take the next most important step. Ask and humbly receive. This understanding is for those who intend to be warriors.